The youthful military officers dry practiced eight action packed drills during which they will respond instinctively and without delay to enemy fire while running, crawling, jumping, and shooting at targets set at 25 meters, 50 meters, and 100 meters and neutralizing them in seconds. President Yoram Seveni keenly watched their moves and skills. But of course, the situation you are, you are dealing with here is a specific one of, of close combat. But it's a good beginning because it gives you confidence. Because even when you are in a bigger conflict, it still works, it still helps. These techniques, you need to localize them. Don't just take all of them and you think that they would work. The graduates have undergone training in combating terrorism, violent extremism, cyber threats, politically motivated violence, and threats that transcend borders. Mzaveni, however, warned against cowboyism and directed the trainers to integrate techniques in an ideological context. You, you use their training for this group to develop battle drills that are, are, are correct. Okay. Otherwise, you can make mistakes. Secondly, don't look at yourself as cowboys. We don't want cowboyism here. Because if cowboyism could work, the, the Americans would not have been defeated in Vietnam. Because they, they go with all these uh, techniques, 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 but without ideological context. Seven who had prior broken ground for the construction of the Military Intelligence and Security School, estimated to cost 40 billion shillings, commanded Major General Abel Kandiho, the in-charge chieftaincy of military intelligence, for ensuring that the training is done by local trainers from the Uganda People's Defense Forces, which has built their capacity and pledged to build the military school to a full professional institution. Uh, sir, the school which initially conducted only basic intelligence courses for both intelligence officers and militants has since, has since developed capacity and have upgraded to include intermediate and advanced intelligence courses as well as specialized training. The Chief of Defense Forces, General Wilson Buddy, said the completion of the training by the elite forces is part of building a professional army that is modern, effective and efficient to contribute to regional peace. At least 175 officers graduated, among them were five women. The overall best student was Private Twonjere Kenneth, the most professional was Private Imalingat Gabriel, while the most disciplined was Private Buambale Leon, and the best female student was Private Namuhoma Madina. Denis Igoa, for UBC News.